All right. So if you're anything like me, you've used this before, this uh, Berkeley Power Bait, and uh, probably had some really good results on it. And if you're like me, you've tried to reproduce the dough bait, meaning with you know flour, egg, whatnot, and you've tried to get it to float just like this um, this Power Bait. What do I mean by like float? Is like float off the bottom, like so. So what I'm gonna show you today is actually how to do that, how to get your dough bait to actually float. And um, some of the things you're gonna need before, before you start are um, some eggs, a bowl, a fork, a buoyancy mix, and some type of scent. I'm a big scent guy when I fish. Um, I really like the garlic, so I have a variety of um, different scents. Anyways, I'll come back to where we can get all these you know, towards the end of the video. All right, so what we're gonna do is we got our eggs. These are our large eggs. If you can, get the medium egg, a medium-sized egg. <clears throat> what I have here is a one-fourth uh, measuring cup. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna crack the egg in there. And we're gonna mix it real good. Basically, if you can uh, make eggs, you'll be able to do this with no problem. All right. Now we're only gonna actually use approximately half of the one fourth measuring cup. The other part we'll just put right there for right now. So we're gonna pour that back into the bowl So the first thing I'm gonna do, what I got here is um, I got this buoyancy mix made by Bidon. Um, it comes with bait preservative and a color of your choice. I chose blue in this case. And essentially what this is, this is a dough mix, but it's got a secret formula in there that allows, allows it the dough bait to float once it's submerged under water. So we'll have a go. We'll open this up. It comes with directions. I've already done this. Uh, I ordered a few of them, so I've done it a couple times. And here's your color. And it says, fill to the water, fill to the top with water, secure lead, put it back for 30 seconds. So it says shake for 30 seconds. That calls for two scoops of the base preservative, of the bait preservative, in there. And then empty the entire packet of color into mix. It's going to call for a scent of your choice. You, like I said before, I'm really big on scents, and these all work really well. And on, um, so on this one, <clears throat> I'm gonna go with this garlic. Right here. This is super garlic. <clears throat> and it calls for one to two scoops of any type of scent you want. Now it can be any kind but it does recommend their own. But it's a cool thing about this, uh, <clears throat> these, uh, this mix, it actually allows you to mix in your scents, you know, your, your colors and whatnot. And then <clears throat> it says uh, to steer. You can see how it's getting nice and blue. Nice and blue, just like that. And then we got our buoyancy mix. <clears throat> and it calls to add um, a little at a time. It really says one fourth of a, of a scoop at a time, a fourth of a cup. And mix.
And it says to, <coughs> to keep mixing until all the fluency mix um, disappears in, into with all the color. Especially until all the white disappears. And then it calls to add a little at a time. And it really stresses to add this, add the mix, you know, a little at a time for, for some reason. So that's what we'll do. Now, since we want to mix it, we keep adding until we get the same consistency of a uh, Play-Doh mix. You know, the old school Play-Doh. It's essentially the same consistency as we want to get. And you'll be able to tell. Like, just right now, it still looks, um, you know, a little wet. And it also says it's, it's not going to stick to your fingers when it's done. As you can see right now, it's still sticky. So... more and this stuff is um it's brand new i think it's been on the market maybe maybe a month or so i came across it when i was trying to um, find ways how to make how to make the actual power bait and uh, I just couldn't find any. Anyways, anything I tried, I couldn't get it to float. It would always sink to the bottom. And um, we're almost getting it there. Now it's getting nice and doughy. And you'll be able to tell when it's done, especially after doing it a time or two, even your first time. Looks just like, uh, looks and feels almost just like Play-Doh. It's nice and, it's very moldable. And just give it a go like this a few times. All right. Now the directions, you know, call to lay it flat on the ground for about 30 minutes and in an aired um, in a room. But it's not necessary. It's ready to go right away. And we'll put it to the test. And make sure with anything when you're using these dough baits, you're using a nice light mo mosquito hook. That way the heavier hooks will actually take the dough bait and sink it to the bottom. Alright, let's put it to the test. Will it work? Oh, look at that. It is so buoyant, it actually picked up. Um, the little split shot. You can see that right there. Right there. It's right next to the other power bait. So you can see um, how that really, really works. And um, yeah, and it really does feel just like Play-Doh. Um, so there you there you go, folks. Um, how to make floating dough bait? I know this is uh, I've never seen anything on the on the market like this. Um, really cool concept and then uh, of course when you're done <clears throat> what's cool is um what i've been doing is taking this container once it's all done and just washing it out and just storing it right in there you know once you're done and stay tuned for the links and i'll give you a link where you can get all you know you know all this stuff we're at all right guys thanks for tuning in